Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Hope you're all having a great day so far. As you can see, we got some 1990 Donruss packs here we're going to rip here. Haven't been to the store to be able to get any more repack boxes or check to see if there's any more uh, newer product out there. Of course, I'm just kind of going through some of my uh, boxes that I've got back uh, here in the last few years at the different flea markets and so forth. So anyway, got six packs that we're going to go ahead and open up today. 1990 Donruss, of course, it's going to have Larry Walker's rookie, Sammy Sosa's rookie. This set was riddled with error cards so much that I think Beckett just said the heck with it. We're just going to give up and quit listing the errors and variations and so on and so forth. Sorry about not showing you the front and the back of the pack. It does have the Carl Yastrzemski puzzle in it in 1990. And there on the back you see the offer for the, the giant size Diamond Kings and then all their little... Contest rules and so forth. No inserts, no parallel. Well, there was inserts, the MVP cards, and I believe that there was a bonus set of cards as well. Uh, had a little uh, <coughs> thing of bonus sluggers or something like that. I can't remember, but I believe those were only available in certain retail packs. These are just the wax packs that come out of them. There you see the, the stuff stick into the back of the card there. Um, the wax packs only had the MVP cards, but I believe the retail cello packs were the ones that had the other bonus, like a Grand Slammer card or something. There you see the puzzle piece. We start with Tony Fernandez, Tom Foley, and there you definitely see the, the that 90s design with the, the speckled paint. That was always a big thing on different, you know, on clothes and bicycles and whatever else of the early 90s, just a speckled paint look. And the design is very similar. You throw that out, it's very similar to 1991 Fleer. We'll show you the backs of the cards. Those are very similar to 1990, or most of the Donruss. Of course, it's similar to 1990. It is 1990. But uh, like their other years of Donruss products during this era, they had five previous years and then their career totals, and then all sorts of other interesting information. I'm sure a person could learn a whole lot about... There's Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. Um, Lonnie Smith, I uh, I can't remember if he is Nolan Ryan, so there's a nice one. Let's look at the back of that one. So that's the base card. There's a 5,000K strikeout card, and of course he has a King of Kings, not a Diamond King, but a King of Kings card in this set as well. So we had a couple nice cards in this first pack. Kind of go through there. There's one of the MVP cards, and it is notated as such in the numbering on the back. So Ryan Sandberg, if you're going to get a good one, that's the one one of them you want to get, BC10. And we have the Juan Gonzalez rookie card. I did forget about him. And there is a reverse negative of this card as well that's very popular amongst collectors. I used to have it. I don't know if I still do or not. But Juan Gonzalez rated rookie, that is the corrected version. <clears throat> the Nolan Ryan card that I spoke of a few minutes ago, the... The King of Kings and the 5,000K, 5,000 Strikeouts card. Those do have an error with the flipped backs. I do have those somewhere. I'll have to find those and bring those up sometime. This looks like it could be a <clears throat> pack. Of, ooh, a Diamond Kings checklist. What about that? Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, I guess it is card number 27. They did put it on there. They didn't put it on the back. So, and of course, during this time, you're going to get a lot of packs with a lot of people in it that are, you know, Doug Drabeck was pretty solid with the Pirates. Eric Davis, of course, he was very, very good with the Reds. Bobby Bo with the Pirates, later the Mets. So not a lot to write home about that Eric Davis was an all-star card, by the way. Not a base, it is a base set card, but a subset of the all-star uh, set, I guess. The set within a set is how I refer to a subset. And we're having uh, problems with the wax sticking to the backs of these. So that happens from time to time. So we have John Franco, Kevin Gross, and it looks like we're going to be stuck with a handful more people that stayed in the majors. Kevin Mitchell, Andre Dawson, so there's a Hall of Famer. So it wasn't a total bum of a pack on this one, but I know we're not going to get any uh, big hits out of here. Like I say, you get a couple rookies, a couple uh, good Hall of Famers in here in this set. Probably the, the, the highest card is probably the uh, Juan Gonzalez reverse negative, to be truthful. 
in terms of value. And then, then there's that uh, Aqueous, or Aqueous, or Aqueous. There's a, a set out of 1990 Donners. Is that ripped? Yes, yeah, that's bent. Not sure how that got that way, but it's going to the pile on the left on the floor. Wallace Johnson. Brady Anderson. Bobby Bow again. I think we had the MVP card earlier. Mike Kingry. Ozzy Guillen, who later became manager of the White Sox. John Allred, who was a... You would have been happy to have got a John Allred card. There's another Nolan Ryan and Mike Dwyer. And I remember this pattern earlier, Nolan Ryan and Mike Dwyer, or Dyer, right behind him. A couple more packs to go for today. Hopefully this weekend during my adventures. Uh, we're going to be, my wife and I, are going to go back down to Indianapolis Speed Drum tomorrow. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to have videos of. I'm not going to do the figure eights this time in terms of videos. I'll do some pictures of those guys. But I think they have the junior fast carts, which is the kids that are like 8 to 15 years old. I might do some videos of them. I think they got the factory front wheel drive, and I can't remember who else they're going to have down there. But look for some videos tomorrow evening coming from the Speedrome. Looks like, once again, we don't have a lot going on here in terms of star pay, pay, the power. Paul Molitor, we have, a, oh, I hate to see that happen to a checklist. Oh, well, it ruins my day. <clears throat> Bo Jackson. So, Bo Jackson Diamond Kings. And Deion Sanders, I believe that is a rookie card. Dave Winfield, I believe he's in the Hall of Fame as well. So, back-to-back -back Yankees cards there. So, if you're a Yankees fan, you're kind of excited about that. If you're a Red Sox fan, you're wanting to burn the video right now. Uh, but, um, last pack. Get another good look at the pack there. never know what you're going to get in these. Of course, I got another box and a half of these, I think, so eventually I'll try to put this set together. I tried to put this set together way back uh, in 1990 when I was really heavily into baseball cards, but when you could only get one or two packs a week that had the 25 or 30 cards in it, it was a long process, and I was, after a year, I was still over 100 cards shy of completing the set, but now with all the cards that I've got floating around here, I'm pretty sure I could get it done. I don't want to do a master set, though, with all the errors and have to chase all that stuff down. So this one looks like another pack that's just might have one solid player in it. Kevin Mitchell's decent. Ozzy Smith, okay, there's our Hall of Famer. It's a nice Ozzy Smith card. And cards like these also would make great TTM cards. So nothing real spectacular other than the Ozzy Smith there. <clears throat> may have to try to separate these puzzle pieces, too. But that's what six. That's about how thick six packs of 1990 Donruss is going to look. Pretty good size stack. But once again, I appreciate you guys watching. Like I say, tomorrow, or, or at least this weekend, I don't know what my plans are as far as going out and getting some new items. I'd like to go get more of those repack boxes. We've kind of had, even though the packs haven't been that, or the repack boxes haven't been that strong, we've had them really cool minor league cards. Got to see some teams and players that we've never seen before. And we've had three hits in a row, so maybe we'll uh, change it up and go to a different Walgreens and get some more. Um, don't know if I'm going to try to make a Meyer run or a Walmart run or anywhere and see if they have anything. But it's been pretty bare here as well. I know I've seen on Facebook and Twitter and other social media outlets that people have... Uh, I've noticed people have been... Uh, hoard, I don't want to say hoarding, but in a, in a way they go in and buy and they're trying to flip a lot of the things on eBay or whatever and make a profit. And that's very, very reminiscent of back in, in this era, 1990, when people, um, when people were hoarding cases of like tops and Fleer and score and saying they're going to put their kids through college with that. And, and now they're selling for selling it for less than what they paid for it. So that didn't work out too well. And, and I kind of foresee the same thing now, but anyway, we'll go we'll go out this weekend, look for a few things, and have a couple videos this weekend. But definitely look, look for videos tomorrow, being at the Indianapolis Speedrome, where we will be filming some races. And look forward to having you guys watch them. So thanks for hanging in here today for a 1990 Donner six-pack rip. And we will see you again tomorrow, and enjoy the rest of your Friday.